If you believe that your gift will make room for you, start walking in rooms like you have a gift to offer. Faith without works is dead. I need everybody to please share this video because your boy about to go in. I'm back with a 3P. That's right. That's that Shaq and Kobe 3P, baby. What's up, y'all? What's up, Chosen Ones? What's up, Divine Ones? Mr. Unlimited is back, baby. Y'all thought I was gone, huh? I heard through the grapevine. Ooh, where'd you and the Chosen One at? He missing an action. You just don't know when I'm coming. Just know I'm walking the room like God sent me. I need everybody to put that in the comments below and say my next opportunity, I will walk in the room like God sent me. Because God is getting ready to open some doors for you. And if your gift make room for you, start, do, start walking in that room like you have a gift to offer. Let me tell you something. People, half of these people in this world don't even know they got a gift. Because you know why? They don't have no confidence. They don't have no faith. They don't got no umph. They don't got no umph. They don't got no pep in their step. You got to represent when you out here in this cold world. Always look good. Always look your best. That's what my grandmother always said. It's always look your very best when you walk outside these doors. You don't know who looking at you. Opportunity could be knocking at your door when you walk out your, outside your home looking like a million bucks. You are beautifully and wonderfully made by God. What are you doing walking in rooms like you don't got nothing to offer? People can tell a lot by your energy, by your posture, by the way you talk, by the way you dress. What are you doing with the gift that God has given you? What are you doing with the confidence that God has given you? What are you doing with the anointing that God has given you, man? You'd be very surprised. Half of these people out here don't even know their true calling. Because guess what? They never took a leap of faith. They're so used to the normal. They're so used to mediocre. Y'all better pay attention. We're living in our last and evil days. People don't even want to get up and shower no more. I'm witnessing this on a daily now. People don't want to get up and brush their own teeth anymore. Everybody dependent on the government. Everybody dependent on the USA. Everybody dependent on some kind of welfare, whatever the case may be. Get out here and get your own bag. Get out here and build your own confidence. Get out here with that... Excuse my French, but you got to get out here with that F you mentality. I don't want to say it, but you got to have that F you mentality when you're going out here and you're going out here to get this bag. Because that's what they said to you. F you. You ain't worth nothing. You would never be nothing. So it got to be vice versa. F you. I got to go get this bag. You wasting your gift. Sitting on the couch, flicking a remote. That same TV and that same damn remote you flicking going to be in the same spot when you get from going on and taking care of your business to get into this bag. It's going to be in the same spot that you left it. The only way up is down. You didn't hit rock bottom already. You want to go lower than rock bottom? You can't go lower than that. People, I'm not trying to be funny, but sometimes when you see people homeless and stuff like that, yes, pray for them. We already know they went through something, but I realize they all had a choice to make. They all had a free will. We all have choices that we need to make. I was rock bottom like that before. I'm keeping it 1,000 with y'all. Didn't have a pot to piss in. Couldn't even afford a bar of soap. I couldn't even afford zest. I was so broke. You know, when you can't afford zest, y'all better pay attention. But my God made a way. When there seems to be no way, he always make a way, man. Man, that's how good he is. Start walking in a room like you have a gift to offer. Because they paying attention to you. They watching you. 
you go to a job interview, or even if you go to a group interview, you got to be the best dressed. You got to stand out from amongst the crowd. Your energy got to be different. You got to walk in that room prayed up. You got to walk in that room anointed up. Because demonic spirits are around. And you got to understand, let's say if you did get that big job. Let's say if you did get your career. Now you are a registered nurse. Guess what? It's always going to be somebody watching you. Walk in that room like you got a gift to offer. Count your blessings because people out here don't want to work no more. And I'm not knocking a nine to five, but now it's starting to look really bad. And people can't sit up and say, well, I ain't got no money. I ain't got to do this. Man, they hiring on the spot. You can start your own business as well. I'm just saying at least start somewhere. I had to start somewhere. Flipping burgers at Wendy's, taking orders through the drive-thru. I have to start somewhere. I ain't going back. Glory to God. Because God made a way. God said, if you take one step, I'm going to take the next step. Don't trip. I know it's hard, but guess what? It's only hard because we make it hard for ourselves, chosen ones. I see greatness in the chosen ones. When you don't even see greatness in yourself, I see it. I was just like you, man. I didn't know I was, you know, destined for greatness, man. Being around a bunch of hyenas. Being around a bunch of vampires. Leeching off your energy. Sucking all of your, your greatness out of you. I didn't know I was destined for greatness until God put me by myself. That's when I find out who I really was. It's going to be a lonely road. But who gives a fuck? We came in this world by ourselves. We're going to leave by our motherfucking selves. Ain't nobody going to do a goddamn thing for you. Walk in that next job interview. Walk in that next. If you got to go take your state boards, nurses, lawyers. If you got to go in there and, and, and pass these boards to get your, your law, lawyer's license. Walk in there like you got a gift to offer. God will open up a door to the point where you ain't got to take no test. Y'all better, man, y'all better pay attention to what's going on. God knows you bring the gift, and even if you don't even pass the test, you don't know who up in there will hire you on the spot. Because your presence, your glow, your aura, and just imagine if you prayed up, you're going to be making the business money. They need your gift. They need your presence. They need your energy. Walk in there like God sent you. Please join my WTC mentor program. My email will be in the description below. All I need is one hour with the chosen one. Just one hour. Amen. Be a blessing to my YouTube channel. My Cash App and my PayPal will be in the description below. And don't you ever forget, if you need a friend, you already know you got a friend in me. If you need prayer, you already know you got a prayer warrior in me. And if you need motivation, and if you need inspiration, you already know you got the best motivational speaker in the whole wide world, your boy. We the chosen ones, baby. Be blessed.